we got episode five of The Acolyte, and I'm pretty sure it delivered. So first of all, spoiler warning for The Acolyte episode five. I'm going to be breaking it down. We're going to see some scenes. So if you haven't seen it yet, pause, come back later, but let's dive in. Initial thoughts on this episode was that it is my new favorite of the season. So I liked episodes one and two, did not really care for three. I thought episode four was really good, but episode five is by far my favorite. We finally have lightsaber action. I mean, I feel like we've been waiting to actually see a lightsaber duel, and man, this episode was full of it. I read an article that my friend had sent me a couple weeks ago that they had worked on improving the actual lightsaber props they were using, and I think that they actually did, and it made a difference. It just seemed a little bit better than the lightsaber action that I think we've seen in Ahsoka and the sequel trilogy. It didn't seem as heavy-handed to me. Action was a lot faster. It was closer to the prequels. Now, it was not Hayden and Ewan or Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan versus Darth Maul, but it was closer, and I appreciate that. But that's just my initial thoughts. Let's actually hop in and break this episode down. As we knew from what the director of episode four said, episode five did pick right up where we left off. So we have Osho waking up in the woods or the forest, and the episode is called Night. So it is just the other half of day, which was episode four. We see all of these Jedi fighting this Sith. We do learn his identity later on, but we see the Jedi fighting the Sith. He's making pretty quick work of the characters we would expect him to make pretty quick work of, all those people that went on the mission that did not actually have names, they didn't have lines. We knew they were not gonna last, and they didn't last, but the action kind of continues Throughout the episode, we see him fighting against the no-name characters. We see him fighting against Yord, against Jeki, against Master Soul. There is a lot of lightsaber combat in this episode. But it does kind of jump around back and forth on who's fighting this Sith, what's going on with Osha and Mei. He's kind of chasing Mei the whole time. Mei's trying to get away. Jackie's chasing Mei, so we see her go after Mei in Kelnaka's home, and we see Jackie trying to arrest Mei, and she essentially succeeds. She has a little bit of a fight leading up to that, but she does succeed. She gets Mei in the cuffs, trying to get her arrested, but then, you know, the combat keeps going. So the Sith is fighting Soul, but he gets away from Soul. Now, Soul's fights with the Sith, I think, are pretty good. They're kind of broken up here and there. But it was good combat. I was a fan. I thought the imagery looked great. The blue and the red saber in the forest felt like Star Wars. I thought the choreography was great. Uh, we see the fighting going like with lightsaber, without lightsaber. So I thought it was a good, maybe a good balance between maybe the martial arts that they've been adding to this season, but also the lightsaber combat that all Star Wars fans want. But we have Yord trying to get Osha back to the ship. We have Jeki fighting the Sith. We have Soul fighting the Sith. Eventually, Osha makes her way back with Yord. So Yord's fighting the Sith again. Just a lot of fighting. And long story short, the Sith does end up taking out Jeki, but she does put up a good fight. She's got both of her sabers fighting him. I thought that was a great scene. She fights him in two different locations, I believe. So she's doing dual sabers. When one saber goes out, she has another. She puts up a good fight, but ultimately he does get her after she takes his mask off and we see that it's Kamir. Now, now I've been saying it's Kamir for a long time. A lot of people on the internet keep saying it's gonna be a woman or it's gonna be one of the witches. Well, I'm hoping they come back to eat their crow because they were wrong. It was Kamir the whole time. And so we see it's him. He's fighting Jackie, takes her out. He's fighting Soul. Yord shows up. He takes out Yord too without even using his lightsaber. That was actually kind of brutal for a Star Wars scene. We see him snapping Yord's neck, which was kind of crazy to see on screen. But 
we see Osha getting involved in this fight with the Sith. She puts a light on his back from her droid. That gets all the moth animal things in from the last episode. So they're fighting the Sith guy because they're attracted to the light and they carry him off, which gives Osha a chance to get away with Soul. But, but May hits Osha with the stun gun. So they go have a scene. It's kind of a strange scene, honestly. That, that kind of felt out of place for the episode for me. Maybe my only complaint, but... Osha and May do have a scene together, and Osha is trying to arrest May. May is trying to be, I guess, sentimental with her sister. E either way, May ends up knocking Osha out, takes her clothes, goes with Soul. So Soul doesn't know that it's May. They get all the way to the ship. He still doesn't know it's May. But I think Basil does, the little weasel-looking character. I, that may not be his name, not sure. But the little sniffer guy, he knows that it's May, I'm pretty sure, by what they put in the episode. But the episode ends with the Sith guy finding Osha. And so I think it's going to be an interesting dynamic going from here that now the roles are kind of reversed. So May is with Soul, and Osha is with Chimere the Sith, which is, again, that's flipped from where we were. So, going to be interesting to see where we go from here with three episodes left after this. So, episodes six, seven, and eight. So, again, I do believe this was the best episode of The Acolyte, mainly because we get a lot of payoff in this. We see who the Sith is. We see lightsaber action. We get kind of an update on this story, kind of where it's going with with the Sith, with the Jedi. We see there's going to be more conflict going forward with May actually being with Soul, so I'm sure nothing good is going to come from that. Osha's going to be with the Sith, so I think he's going to kind of let her in on what happened with Soul. Soul's going to have to own up to what happened on Brendock in that flashback scene we got in episode three, because something definitely happened there. He's going to have to own up to that, but I think the Sith is going to be the one that tells Osha what happened. So, again, be very interesting to see where this goes. If I were grading this episode out of 10, I would probably give it an 8, 8.5 out of 10. It was, it was pretty good. By far the best episode of The Acolyte so far. So, let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments, and I'll catch you next time.